death waiting for you. That's really what it is, because I was looking at it, and like when I was driving home yesterday from the ice, you know, you people don't realize, man, the most high has it set up today to where your your decision could be the very last that you make. Every day is a 50-50 chance of you making it uh, out, out alive. You know? But that's the kind of place we live in today, where you can the next step you can take, you can be your very last. But y'all people love it. Y'all want this place, y'all want an immortal immortal existence of a 50% chance of living every day. Now this is Matthew chapter 24 and 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So Noah didn't even know until he actually saw the flood come, and it took everybody away. So shall also the, son, the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. You know, and, and those people, you notice how like, uh, you know, they were all sitting there, you know, enjoying themselves, not in their, like they were and doing. had the fear of the Lord in them. Yep, yep, like they did all the prophets, they mocked them. And they didn't think it, and they didn't. They probably thought at the same time too, like it can't happen to us. Yeah, because it, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they, they're not even going to come back. They had, they had never been a drop of rain, you know. So, but they, but they were already believing on things that they were like, like it says in uh, 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 Second Corinthians chapter four, where it talks about how. Uh, these things are temporal, and a man, and a man, or the man says that why do you only, why do you, why do you, uh, why do you believe in the things that you see? Why do you, why do you believe in the things that you see? That's not what faith really is. But people only, that's why the scriptures talk about, that's why the scriptures say, man, uh, that you're from beneath and I, and the Yahweh Shah is from above. Because you only believe in what you can see. That's what, uh, that's what Thomas said. That uh, unless I see the Lord and believe and, and stick my hand into His side, I will believe. I won't believe yet. You know, but that's how y'all are today. Y'all only believe. Yeah, yeah. Different generation. That's why y'all wish I said, shall I, when I come, shall I find faith in the earth? Question mark. If y'all believe, so when a man's coming to you, telling you that America is going to be destroyed for all the wickedness that it's done and the wicked things that y'all celebrate and do, y'all don't think it can happen. Y'all think that it, it's not even possible. Uh, this is Jeremiah 5 and 12. They have belied the Lord and said, It is not he. Neither shall evil come upon us, neither shall we see sword nor famine. And the prophets shall become wind, and the word and the word is not in them, thus shall it be done unto them. Like you think we're gonna start coming out here eventually. You know, you think we're gonna start coming out here telling you that. Thanksgiving was all like we're like we were lying about telling you the truth. Like we were telling you, uh, like they're gonna be saying, "Now those guys are lying about what Thanksgiving was about." That's crazy, man. But that's that, like word "belied" means to deny the Lord. So, or you gotta get to, to deny the Lord. But that's not gonna happen. This we're dealing with the real truth today, and the truth is really out there, and we know it's recorded in history that these people, man. Y'all were deceived and killed horribly in that day, and and still today, and y'all are the only people who are being uh, criticized or uh, what is it ridiculed and uh, mocked daily. And what is it stereotyped every day, everywhere you go. As soon as you walk into a store, everybody's looking at you like you're about to steal, steal everything. But then you still you still think you still you, you still have the nerve to come to us. And be like, y'all are liars. No, oh, man. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, God of hosts, because you speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. And that's what's happening as, as we speak to y'all right now. Y'all being burned up. And that word, this word, and that's how we know it. That's how now we always say, that's how we know that this is the truth. Because when it really comes down to it, y'all people, first of all, y'all like to defend Esau for that day, for Thanksgiving. Y'all like to defend him quick. Really, when, 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 
And that man, white man said next to you could have been the one actually who killed you that day. Well, but like again, going back to Isaiah, this is your to stay on it. Right. You know, like, you could just say whether they uh, whether they prepare or not prepare. We're just gonna let you celebrate your son, that holiday, man, and just become even more corrupt and let yourself die. Uh, Second Peter's three and uh, three, knowing this first that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? Well, in the, uh, well, well, it was just like in the time of Noah, they, because he was building a boat, he was telling that a flood was coming, he's like, where, where is the promise? Where, when is it coming? No, when, it, when is this rain, so-called rain, you say it's coming? Is y'all doing the same thing? When, when is the, uh, the return of the Lord coming? Since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. That tells added that's what y'all say. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And the perdition of ungodly men, which is what all you people are today. You two thirds, you heathen, all of y'all people, because y'all want to keep, or y'all want to, y'all want to, uh, y'all want to, y'all want to, uh, no, so y'all want to uh, do everything that the way a man says. I'm trying to say it right. Y'all don't, y'all want to omit everything that the most high told you, uh, not, uh, told you not to do. Most I didn't tell you again going back to Noah and we never, or and, and we all being delivered out of Egypt up until now. All you all you two thirds wanted to do in that day was celebrate. Like, like, like when you go back to the story of Moses and, and, and two third and, of Israel, uh, it'll always talk about how they were murmuring in your tents. Wicked, uh, like it says in the uh, Corinthians, how that uh, that food's offered unto an idol. I mean, I don't even know, man, the the, the severity and the, and the stupidity of what y'all are doing. Like, again, the, wicked, the wickedness. Yeah, again, celebrating the deaths of y'all, man, the, the slaughtering of, 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 of these people, a, a, a whole multitude of them, man, millions of them. Jeremiah 10 and 1, Hear ye the word of the Lord, which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yeah. For the customs of the people are vain. Yeah, the customs of the people are vain, man. Like like, like we're going to uh, like we get back on uh, Habakkuk, where it said that y'all labor yourselves for very vanity. All this stuff you see today, man, it's going to be burned up. All this stuff that you see is going to be destroyed. And it's going to be, and you're going to see in that day that everything that you were told or by us men was the truth. And that everything you were told by this white man, everything you were eating was uh, corrupt and defiled. Y'all going to gonna see in that day, man, and you so-called white man, y'all going to pay for everything y'all did. For all the shit that y'all did to us, to us, to these people on the side, man. Because y'all done a lot. And that y'all have not been paid back for. And, and sticking on that day, this day that's coming up, so-called Thanksgiving, y'all gonna pay for that, man. Y'all are not gonna go unpunished for everything that y'all done. And like, like the brother was bringing out about Django when that when uh, Samuel Jackson was telling them about the about how they were just sitting there for a way to torture you. They actually did that stuff, the so-called white, and he still does it today. 
And he knows, again, through that spiritual destruction, he, he, he's, he just, he's higher up, he's higher ranking. Edomites, they're just sitting back, man, waiting for y'all two thirds to just go crazy again over Black Friday and Thanksgiving. Like, like, like I told you where I'm working at, at where they got the aisles stocked up with nothing but uh, turkeys. Yeah, turkeys. Frozen turkeys and stuff and cranberry jellies. Not only that, y'all, what y'all gonna make y'all fools, make a fool out of yourselves on Black Friday yep. for these devices, these TVs, these like, electronics. And they're gonna put you on YouTube, they're gonna put you on uh, uh, World Star, they're gonna put you on all these different avenues on the internet and, and clowning on you, you Negro Latino Native American Indians. Some of y'all people are going to get killed, you're going to get stomped on in them crowds. People are going to rob you. And they're going to mock you, man. That's why the Lord, and, and Paul says, for we are not ignorant of Satan's device. That's one of his devices, is to uh, give you this day of Black Friday. And just look, look at the name itself, the title of that day. Ozzy Osbourne had a, a, a record called Black Sabbath. That's wicked as fuck. Black Friday, a black day. What does black represent? Negativity, evil, wicked. Y'all don't have the spiritual, that, you have to have that, the spiritual eye to be able to see those behind those words and what have you. And what do you people do? Look, you people are dying on, on, them, on that day. When it's a day, it's supposed to be a day of buying gifts, right? Supposedly. Right, but people are dying, coveting after a, a device to the point where you're actually beating somebody up. There you go, yeah. you, you're standing outside for hours and hours just to hope to get that thing, but you men that that uh, self-proclaim yourself to be Christians, y'all ain't out here laboring for this truth, man. Y'all ain't out here laboring to this, for this truth to, uh, to hope that you get a ticket of salvation and get out of this fucking wicked place before it's be, it gets destroyed. Well, y'all can y'all can stand out four or five hours, mm -hmm. maybe longer than that, for a fucking TV. You may not even get. And you, they, yeah, you may not even get. For what? And if say if you do get near it, there's probably a dude ready to fucking smash on you. Yeah, yeah. Or when you go outside, you still gotta face another obstacle. People are gonna try to rob you. Yeah. Like that's the and that's just. Uh, like we, were, like we were talking about it before we came here. About, uh, yeah, you don't know how you said it, just the way you, like, you said it. But, uh, or he, but the brother made a comment, he was saying, uh, you know, if they act like this, just on these material things. Right, if y'all going all crazy over a TV, a PlayStation 4, an Xbox, and Xbox they came out with, cell phones, y'all are willing to kill somebody, beat somebody up over it. Just imagine what you two thirds are gonna, how y'all gonna behave yourselves when there, there ain't no fucking food, man. When martial law breaks out and people are taking your kids, and, and, you know, just coming into your house, with the military coming into your house, on it, you know, just because they, they can do it. You know, there's no food. You know, basically, uh, chaos is, is okay. It, I mean, it's gonna be going on. There's no one's gonna be, be able to really stop it. You men are gonna be taking joy into raping women, like going just but going crazy, man. You two thirds, man, you're gonna be going crazy. Just killing each other, you know? Because the two thirds are gonna be out there raping you women, man. They're gonna be raping you men too. Wickedly on the left hand side. Just imagine how you get if you're, you're if y'all are doing that, misbehaving yourselves that way on this day, Black Friday, just imagine how you're gonna be. When all hell breaks loose here in America, y'all gonna be like beasts. That's why the Lord has His word that tells us how to conduct ourselves and to hope in Him. Because hard times are coming. We're not in the day of feasting; we're in the time of mourning. And that, and, and in that day of mourning, we're supposed to uh, put ourselves in order and get ready. And like the brother made a comment a minute ago, though, too, about uh, waiting those hours. You know, when you have a shy man, you have the most high. If you wait on him, like the scriptures say, wait you upon the Lord. If you wait on him, man, uh, we already know, man, the elect, 
is gonna be is gonna be uh, well taken care of, man. That's a that's a promise. You know, would you rather want that, man? Or, or we already know what you want, but so he's gonna give us eagles, uh, the wings yep. of eagles. Yep. And you want a cell phone that just can send a text, or Save you know some TV, you know, whatever you can do with the Xbox. The most is gonna give the elect men spiritual powers. You know, yeah, it's man. far beyond a fucking TV and a remote that still takes batteries. Nothing's forever here. You know? Nothing's eternal here. Like the brother brought up earlier, all every all things are temporal on this side in this time right now. They're just temporarily. And y'all seek after those things because you got faithless generation. Scripture Leviticus 18 and 1 and the Lord spake unto Moses saying speak unto the children of Israel saying to them I am the Lord your God after the doings of the land of Egypt wherein ye dwelt shall you not do and after the doings of the land of Canaan whither I bring you whither I bring you shall you not do neither shall you walk in their ordinances ye shall do my judgments and keep my ordinances to walk therein I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. Right, man. And like I said, what does it say in the very first chapter of Proverbs, man? About how a man that has a fear of the Lord in him and has that knowledge, gets that knowledge, that he'll be able to, uh, he'll be subtile uh, sub and, and he'll be able to and, that, and that's what, that's what really the most side is about. Exactly in Proverbs, but I know it's a Proverbs somewhere like after the 16th chapter, I believe. But the most I flat out just says, I am understanding. You know, he's he just straight up said it. He's knowledge, his understanding. But that's what that's what you that's what the most I is commanding you to uh, to, uh, to uh, hold by. Not this madness, man. Not this like the like we were just giving an example. Not this madness where a man's killing a woman. TV that you might take home and it might break. You know, that, that, that's what we're getting. That's the time we're about to get into, man. Or that, that that's the day we're about to go into, man, where y'all people are just flat out dis disregarding and disobeying the most high's commandments. Most like clearly said, yeah, man, we understand, man. Like a man likes to please his soul every once in a while, but what y'all about to do is just madness. There's no reason for it. That's what the most I said to use the world and not abuse it. But y'all going to y'all gonna go crazy over it. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For your for where your treasure is. There will your heart be also. Hey, well, like I was telling this brother a minute ago too, man, last year when uh, a new video, there was a new video that game that came out on the on those consoles, and there was a robbery over them. You know, they actually called it in. The police called it in. Uh, the police were called in because there was a robbery at Walmart over a video game. But hey, well, like what did the most I said to that man that uh, wanted to store up uh, all those all this his treasures that he had. Yeah, he built a barn. He broke down the barn he had and he built a bigger one. Right, that one? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And then the Most High said that, you fool, th you, thou fool, this day I will require your soul. No, man, this stuff, again, it's, it's, this stuff's going to be destroyed. There, you it's good to tell you clearly, man, there's nothing in this time that you're going to be taking and that not one stone will be left upon another in this time, man. Your TVs, your cell phones, your beloved, half price off things, everything that you want, your turkeys, they're gonna be, they're gonna be devoured, man. On joy, yeah. The joy that you got right now, yeah. Happiness, your celebration, they're gonna come to an end, halt, and you're gonna experience the truth. You know? That's why the scriptures again, man. Ecclesiastes says at the heart, or was Ecclesiastes, or it says at the heart of the wise is in the house in the morning, man. Because we understand, we understand. I mean, you ain't gonna be playing anymore. Us, the men of the Lord ain't gonna be mourning, man, because we're about to lose our TV and they gotta go to the kingdom, man. I remember the brother, uh, Mr. Bala, bringing it out. We're gonna be having real technology in the kingdom, man. Real technology. And, the, and, the, and you define the word, 
that it meant uh, the, uh, the the 